We are always looking for new ways to help you work with your child to excite them about learning. One of the things children love are animals, and they also love to learn with multi-senses. So we found a work to show about different types of animals' coats, and it uses visually, they look at the coat, but it's also texture. They can feel the coat of the animal. So enjoy this work on animals' coats, and remember, you can do this with any animal coats you find. You can always start off with just a few and add more later. This is a work about animals' skin or their coats. Now if you want to, you can start off here with just this part of the lesson. But if you would like to add language, we also have printed off the names of the animals. So if they're readers or they're beginning to sound out letters, you can add language. So you'll say, oh, la la lizard. Zebra. J giraffe. Snow Leopard. You'll watch a lot of these videos and think, how did they come up with that? A lot of this is the product of just a moment of inspiration. And this particular work was an, a random trip to the hobby store. We were at the hobby store and we happened to be in the photo paper section looking for something completely different. And we came across these papers. These are actually like papers for Creative Memories photo album type stuff. And they're different patterns. So they, they were even on sale. So we bought different patterns and cut them up. And then we did a little research online to find out what animals these patterns matched. And then we found pictures that looked like the animal. So you can make these easily at home. Print off the word then for the children who are able to be getting to read and sound blend. And just create a work. We also had to add, because at the hobby store these were half price and the box was just too adorable with the zebra pattern already on it, so we had to get the $7 little box that went perfectly with the work. And we can use this with so many other works in the future. So right now it's holding the animal skin work, of which we can add to with scraps of fabric or other animal patterns. And then eventually we could use this for a language work or one of our um, practical life works. So be creative with all of the found things that you have in your home. And if you happen to go to the hobby store and you find something cool, use it and create a beautiful work. Montessori is all about using real materials, allowing children to do things sensorily, tactily, and any way you can find to use real objects and things from your home, go for it.